Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Josh here. We are working on a project today that's pretty simple, but this barn, this is a little bit of an older barn, but it's getting a little bit of facelift with some new siding um, and some other updates as well. So we're gonna re go ahead and replace these barn doors with just a newer, more modern version that work well, because these just don't work well, they're warped. So that's what we're kind of gonna be working on today. Just show you steps, step-to-step -step process of us actually doing that and what it's gonna take. Um, we got a little bit of an audience today. One Bart and then Karen. Let's see if they'll approve of our new doors. So we'll get right on into it and show you how we're going to do it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we just want to get rid of these doors. They don't work good, so we're going to go ahead and yank them off. I got some screws that were stopping them off the track. We're going to take that off. Then we're going to take this track off because we're going to put a different, better track on. So. Um, we're just going to go ahead and remove that stuff and then we'll show you what comes after getting it all demoed. Okay, so this is the existing ledger board, which is just something to mount the track to. It's actually really good shape. It's a traded board, somebody put it on, but it did not do a very good job. So I'm gonna have to, it's all twisted, so I gotta suck it flat. And they also put these lags on surface, and I'm gonna wrap this with a, uh, a face of metal. So I need to take these all out, drill a hole, inset them, and then I gotta make it all straight. And then um, we can wrap this and then get our track mounted. So I'll show you what I mean. So we got to do that all the way through. Give us a good ledger. Okay guys, so this right here is the round track we're gonna be using. I have two 10 foot sections, because it's a 10 foot wide door, so I'm gonna need ten, two 10 foot sections so it can hang out um, an extra 10 feet, five feet both ways. So anyways, these are gonna to connect together in the middle using this sleeve, like collar. This will like hold this light in right here. Well, I need a hammer, but anyways, this is gonna slide in on this end, and this will slide in the end of this end, and it'll hold them together, make one big track. Now, the way you mount these, since they're round, they're different than uh, other kinds of tracks, it has these brackets right here. And then these brackets have like a stud right here. And then this pipe has a slot right here that it slides into. And it's really nice. So then when you go ahead and uh, take the track, you go ahead and mount this to the ledgers, big like bolt or lag or screw right through here. And it'll hold it up. And the reason it's got this angle right here, profile is there's gonna be a decorative, well, and functioning hood, like a metal hood that's white and it's gonna wrap around here and this will give it support. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these tracks and go ahead and start mounting them and we'll move on.
So the way these brackets work, you basically want to make them match the top of your board, just like this. And then when the trim piece comes over, it's meant to be mounted just in this way. So when you mount this, I'm going to come back with some bigger minis, I guess big screws or mini lags or whatever you want to call them. Put them right in here. But for now, I'm just going to tack it with some smaller screws. Now it's important to make sure it's level. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to go where they're all consistent. And you can see right there, right in the bubble. Perfect. If you don't have it, it's going to want to roll. So to one side, it'll roll down that way, or roll down this way. So that's good. We're going to go ahead and do that. Make sure it's, it's straight. And then I'm going to finish this and then move on. Okay, so I went ahead and finished that track. It's all mounted now. That's good to go. But um, so this floor, this has no concrete or no evenness. So I'm going to go ahead and take, I got a six by six treated timber there. But I'm going to go ahead and dig into the dirt here, bring it up to the height of this elevation of the foundation. That way it gives something for the dirt to level off to and the door to push up against. And um, just to give it some sort of retaining of the dirt, because if you look here, it just keeps on sloping down. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And um, because that's one more thing I got to do before I can start building these doors. And then that'll just, that'll tell me what kind of height I can build my door to. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that in and then move forward. Okay guys, so went ahead and got the frame ready. I mean the opening, sorry. Pretty much ready to go, basically taking the old building and preparing it for the new door. So this is kind of where we're at, right here. So we got our timber in, got our elevation, we got our track in. And I did forget to mention, this is what they call a cannonball track. It's a round rail. Um, I get all my stuff through central states through a distributor locally um, if you can't find a uh, distributor through central states there's other manufacturers like abc um, there's a metal sales i think it's called you can go to a box store like Lowe's or home depot so i went ahead and i'm getting ready to go ahead and build my first door and what i figured out is i find the center point of here made a mark I want the door to overlap this trim. So I pulled tape from there to the center. I think I'm like 50, no, 64 and 5 8 okay? So these are some of my trims. Not the trim, sorry, the actual part of the door. This is what's called a side rail. This is a side rail. So these are gonna be vertical side rails. Um, it's got a channel in here to receive some framing. So I went ahead and cut two of these duplicates, a left and a right, okay? And these, all these parts come in about 10 foot and you can cut them down, okay? So I got two of those side rails. And this is what's called a bottom rail. See how it's also got a channel? Well, the reason it's got a channel is gonna have a rail that slides, this slides over and it keeps the door from blowing in and out with wind. So I went ahead and got that, cut it to the width of my door, which is 64 and 5 8 So those are those three parts. Now I also need some framing to tie these together. So I'm using two by sixes. You can use two by fours, um, but this channel right here is inch, made to receive inch and a half material. Okay, so that's why I'm using that. I also, so I cut actually four of those, sorry. Four at 64 and 5 8 the same length as that bottom channel. The only difference is the top one, what I also did 
is I just came over six inches from the edge, which you can make it different or not, but this is what the roller is. This is the Cannonball Track Roller. It's like the trolley. It's got dual um, rollers, which make it really smooth. They're like a hard plastic. Anyways, you take a half inch drill, get it centered directly sideways, so three quarters inches in, and center this way, uh, I mean, straight up and down square this way. Drill hole, you slide it in, and it's got a thread for nut, nuts to adjust it up and down. One thing I will note, uh, make a note of is see how this has got like a jog in the bolt? It's not straight up and down. The reason is when you hang the door, if you need to adjust the door in and out off the siding, um, you can turn this bolt like this, and it'll offset the door on your frame. So, make note I got that I'm gonna go ahead and start building this door and show you what I'm doing and then kind of go over it um, and see how it goes Okay guys, so this is what I got. Uh, these all slid in nice. Um, got this like this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure these all stay uh, tight. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tack some screws and through this face right here, because this is gonna get hidden with steel with the face of it. So we're gonna go ahead and put some screws in each one, only one. And I'm going to make sure the dimension out there is the same as here, and then from top to bottom, so forth. And then after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check for square, which is basically pull a tape from here to here, here to here. And if this is the same on sideways and top is, and then if your corner to corner is the same, then I'm going to go ahead and put a second screw in each one, and that'll keep this thing from racking and keep it square. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and just kind of show you what it takes to do that. Okay, got the door square, got it all screwed off like this, use these little self tappers. This will get something to attach the metal to here, 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 two by sixes. Okay, go test it out. Okay, I'd recommend if you had help, help hanging it because it is a little heavy, but it's not too bad, so I was able to get it. Right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and make another one just like this. Do it exactly the same. Um, and this is lining up just the way I want it. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the exact same dimension, make the yellow one, and show you what else I got to do yet. Uh, the only difference that's gonna be on this door is this is called a, a vertical mail rail. And then on this side of the next one, I'm gonna have a female rail and then it'll slide over this. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'll show you that in a little bit. But I'm gonna go ahead and make my second door and uh, move forward.
Okay, so I got both these doors on now. Looking good. Um, but they don't line up quite. Um, so they need a little bit of adjustment. So I'm gonna go ahead and make one of these level or plump, run a, a level in there, make it plump. And I can adjust those nuts up and down. And then once I get that one, I'm gonna do the same thing, get that adjusted up and down. And then also, see how this is offset? See how this is offset like that? It's because that elbow on that bolt needs to be turned and it'll push this out or turn that one in, vice versa. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that all adjusted and uh, it should work good. Okay, so I got these doors all adjusted right. Now to keep the bottom from coming in and out, I'm using this right here. This is a bottom rail guide. So it goes on here, bolts up to there, these flanges, and then it has like a bolt here. It goes through a carriage bolt or not, and you can adjust it in and out once you get mounted. So we're gonna go ahead. Get away from me. We're gonna go hold this up where we want, the right height where it has a little bit of bent, and go ahead and bolt it. Go ahead and hammer drill in the concrete, put some wedge anchors and bolt it. Probably won't be very pretty doing it, but we'll get done. Okay, so I've got this locking bar on. It's got a hoop here and a hoop here. Basically, you get the kind of close. If you put this on, it's tapered on here, it'll pull it tight, and you can't get them apart. So we got that. Next one, another thing I need to do is I need to put a latch over here, because they're latched together with this, but it can still go sideways. So. What I got set up is, this is like a, just a, I don't know, bracket with a hoop in it. And then it's got this adjustable threaded J-bolt. You can adjust it in and out, thread. You mount it here, go like that, and you can pull it in, and it keeps that door tight, and it won't allow it to move, so. Gotta get that one mounted on this side, get one mounted on the other side, move on.
I will be using a J channel like this just to cap the tops and that will kind of keep snow from going in there on the top of the door. So one of the last things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this hood on, it's white. You gotta tuck it up behind the siding and it'll wrap these brackets to keep water and dirt from going into the track. All right guys, got these doors wrapped up. The only thing that needs, yeah, I think is a handle, which I'll go over that with the client, and then um, a little bit of dirt fill in here, but it came out pretty good, a little tough to work with an old barn, but I just wanna say thanks for following along. Hopefully this helps you if you're doing a project similar to this. Um, as always, there's more than one way to do things. This is just the approach I take, and it came out pretty good with the trim, and it works way better than before, so. I hope the customer's happy. So if you want to follow along with any of our future videos, hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, hit that like button. And I'm going to get all my stuff cleaned up. And until next time, guys, Josh out.